what are the top 10 intermediate algebra topics? One can look what authors write in books, or one can look at study guides like this one and see what are the most important uh, things. But uh, we want to look at that from a higher education point of view, what topics are most useful later on, especially in connection with other parts of mathematics. We don't want to go into calculus yet, nor into geometry, but focus on pure algebra topics in intermediate algebra topics. Probably the most important concept is the concept of a function that has not been available in antiquity, like Archimedes or Euclid did not have that concept. And the quadratic function is an example, or the cubic function is an example of a function. One can see functions by drawing the graph in a two-dimensional plane. Here's an example, the W function. It's not so easy sometimes to find the graph. One has to plot points, enough points, find the roots, see what happens asymptotically. The inverse of a function plays an important role, like for the quadratic function, the inverse is the square root function. And finding the inverse often involves some algebraic manipulation skills. Finding roots is another important thing. Sometimes we can only find it numerically or guessing like here. And it's also useful to find the intersection of different curves. Like here we have cosine x minus one and x two curves, which we want to intersect at least two roots. The exponential function is probably the most important function beyond the polynomials and it can be defined as a limit of polynomials, like in the second lower part here, or it can also be defined using a parameter h, which goes to zero. h is equal to one, it's just a function two to the x. The exponential function is important because it can model exponential growth or exponential decay. The logarithm is the inverse of the exponential function. It links multiplication and addition. So here is the graph of the log function, log absolute value of x is now defined everywhere except that x equal to zero. It has roots at one and minus one. Systems of equations always appear in intermediate algebra uh, topics and we can solve this, for example, by eliminating one of the variables and plugging it into the other one. Here's an example. We can also add the, so in this case, we can add the two equations to get two x equal to four, or we can subtract them to get y. Binomials play an important role, also then connection to statistics. For example, how many ways are there to choose three objects from five? These are 10, and this is given by the coefficients of this uh, polynomial. This is related also to the Pascal triangle. Uh, we see here the first binomial expressions and the coefficients lead to the Pascal triangle. Rational functions play an important role too, polynomials over polynomials. Now what can happen is that we can have poles, we can have places where the function is not defined. This is actually useful to draw the function, these are asymptotes, vertical asymptotes. Geometric sums naturally lead to rational functions, like if you add the powers and the uh, first uh, powers of x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth which simplifies to x to the five uh, minus one. This is the end of the list. Uh, if you think another topic should be included please comment. Note however that we don't want to do any calculus yet nor geometry that will be covered later in the top 10 list. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>